guys, welcome back to Little Bunny. And in this week's video, we are going to be reviewing a um, rabbit care guide from PetSmart. So this is one that you can buy in the store. You can get it. You can print it off for free online, which is what I did. And I have it on a piece of paper here so I can read you off some parts of it. And we're just going to see in general what I think. So basically the reasoning for making this video is because you can't always take the advice of what pet store employees say to you because they usually are just trying to make money or they aren't really educated so they're just telling you what they think. So make sure you look up this kind of stuff on very good reliable websites. So we will have some of those linked down below so you can check them out. So let's just get started. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is their first part of the article, which is five things you should know about your rabbit. So it starts with rabbits can weigh up to 2 to 10 pounds. This is not completely 100% correct because rabbits, the biggest rabbit has been known to weigh up to 28 pounds. So they can weigh a lot more than 10 pounds. So that's not exactly true. And it also, which I like this, it says they can live 6 to 13 years, which is good because it's telling people how long rabbits can live and that they're not short-term pets. And this is something that kind of makes me upset. Rabbits are most active during the day because rabbits are crepuscular, which means that they are most active at dawn and dusk. And then next they say they make great indoor pets, which is, I'm happy that they mentioned that. So the next thing says that they are playful and gentle, and this is not quite true because um, rabbits have different personalities, just like people, and so you can't just assume that they're going to be one certain way when you get them, so I'm not really too happy about that being in there. So the next topic we're going to be talking about is what to feed my rabbit. So it starts off saying, this is really good, rabbits are herbivores. So I'm really, really happy that they mentioned that because a lot of people actually maybe don't do, don't, a lot of people don't know that, so that's good. And the next thing, which doesn't make me too happy, says their diet consists of pelted food, hay, vegetables, fruit, and the occasional treat. So it's kind of strange because it starts with pelleted food, which if you did not know, rabbits, not all rabbits have to have pellet food. If you don't want, you can change up their diet and they don't have to have pellets. I personally feed my rabbits pellets, but there are a lot of bad pellets out there, and um, they actually say underneath this that a pellet should make up 75% of an adult rabbit's diet, which is way too much, because I give my rabbits one eighth of a cup scoop every day, so that's not very much. And then it says, hey, vegetables, fruit, and the occasional treat. So that is good. But it just doesn't really make me happy that pelleted food is down at the bottom. So now we're moving on to the next page. So they say that green should make up 20% of your rabbit's diet. And this, um, I don't find it as alarming because it should be 40%, not 20%. But that's alright. So the next thing they talk about is fruit. It says you can give your rabbit apple, banana, melon, berry, and pineapple. Melon and pineapple are the only two I'd really be advised with because they do have their more watery and pretty sugary fruits. So I'd probably be careful with those ones. Now we're going to see what they have to say about rabbit hay. So the first thing that they say is on types of hay. It says that you should feed Timothy or oat grass hay. So there's one good thing and one bad thing. So Timothy hay is great because it has it's high in fiber, it has some calcium, and it wears their teeth down when they eat it, which is really good. But oat hay is not the best for feeding your rabbits all the time. It can be given as a treat hay, and my rabbits personally really like it because it's high in calories, so it's not good for them to have all the time because it can make them gain weight. So the next topic is how do I play with and groom my rabbit? So first of all, something that I find very strange is that says your rabbits need at least an hour out of their cage every day. If you do not know, rabbits need at least three to three to six hours out of their cage every day, and that's about what my rabbits get, and that's really great for them. It just really helps them. And then it says that you should walk with a harness or hop. You should let them walk around. Okay. You should let them 
walk with the harness or hop around a pin. So the pin part isn't bad, but a lot of new rabbit owners aren't going to be very good with their rabbits quite yet, so I wouldn't recommend harnesses. I personally don't use harnesses because I don't feel confident with them, but if you feel confident, then that's fine. Um, and then it says, but don't let your rabbit roam around your home unsupervised. So they don't, um, they don't really recommend that you free roam your rabbit around the home, which is a really great way to let them play if you have all the cords put away and there's no place for your rabbit that they'll get hurt. It's a great option. And then it says, which this is great, when interacting with your rabbit, lie on the floor and get down on their level. So that's great because it really helps to bond with your rabbit. So now we are going to be moving on to grooming. So they, the PetSmart article says rabbits groom themselves, which is completely true, and I love it that they add that fact in there um, that could mean to some people that rabbits don't need to be bathed, because if you did not know, they do not need to be bathed. And But it also said that they love a gentle brushing. So if you did not know, rabbits, some rabbits do like gentle brushings, but when they go through their molting season, they need more than just a gentle brushing to go the hair to get all the extra hair off because um, it can cause them to have a stomach ache if they ingest too much and they need to be taken. So now we are going to be talking about what they say in the final tip section that is really good, which they say, remember they may bite or scratch, especially when stressed. Never, <laughs> never grab the fur or tail. So this is great because um, I'm sure a lot of kids a lot of kids want to have rabbits as pets, but they don't always make great pets for children because they do things like grab the fur or their tail and they make them uncomfortable. So it's great that they add this in here that if they bite them, it's not their fault. It's usually their fault if they bite you. So my overall thoughts on PetSmart's Rabbit Care Guide is that it was pretty good. There was some good information in it. There was also some false information. So I recommend, instead of buying a pet store guide, to do your own research for free at home. Um, so basically, if you want to do some research, I have a whole playlist of rabbit care on my channel if you want to watch all of those and learn about proper rabbit care. Or we are going to also have some reliable sources in the description down below that you can click on and read them. And they're really great. So, thank you for watching, love the bunny. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more rabbit care and informational videos. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.